What's up folks, Professor Pickles here coming at you with the first Strixhaven opening that I'll be doing here on the channel. Today we're going to find out is it worth it to buy one of these uh, bundles. Now really excited to get into this. I do also have a uh, collector's pack that I was able to pick up so we'll be opening that as well. Um, but yeah, you know, as with all of these is it worth it videos, it, it really does depend on what you pull at the end of the day. But um, we'll take a look at kind of the, some of the other stuff you get here, see how cool the spin down is. And yeah, so excited to get into this. And let's get it started. So you got your uh, thing here that folds out into the little picture thing, which I won't open. And then it comes with Declare Your College. There's five different colleges there and a cool little graphic on that thing. And then, of course, this just kind of the, the fluffer to make the box look bigger than it actually is. Now, I really do. I have to say I do like this uh, this box here. It's got all the, all the uh, what are they called, schools on, on the top there. Kind of a cool brown color. Now, for the spin down... Very nice, actually. It's kind of like a goldy brown with like a crystal kind of look onto it. That that's nice. I like it. Let's see what we get. An eight, not too bad. Alrighty, so you get the two packs here. You get the non-foil land pack, which we won't go through, and we'll take here a look at the foils. I don't believe there's any full art lands or anything in this set, so these should be the same lands that you pull from booster packs. So we have the alternate art arc mage. Very nice. Got a beautiful plains, nice little city. Ooh, wow, I like that one. That's a cool island right there. Right, these must be all the different schools or something. Very cool. F swampy, another school. Crazy mountain. Ooh, I like that forest. That's cool. Another cool forest, kind of like something corrupted or something. And then um, I believe these are just the same ones, but you get two sets of them. So yeah, not too bad. Really, really cool foil lands there. Excited with, to maybe put those in some of my decks. And, uh, of course, you do get uh, the 10 packs as well, so we'll get right into those right now. And you got two little things here of how to play the game in popular Magic formats. Alrighty. We will get into that collector's booster somewhere in the middle of the video. Oh, and I forgot to mention, we do also have an arena code to give away. This one's actually from Kaldheim. I, I don't have any Strixhaven ones yet. But if you'd like to be entered to win that, just make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Like the video. And leave a comment below letting me know what your favorite card from Strixhaven is. So we got the different draft archetypes. Alrighty. Kind of go through them here. And I think you get a mystical archive in every pack. I, I see it in the back already. That's that's pretty cool, actually. Starting off with an ingenious mastery. Okay. And an eliminate is our um Mystical Archive card for that pack. That's a good card. I mean, I'm sure that card definitely sees some play. One thing I'm not a huge fan of is how many different versions of the Mystical Archives are. Got a Radiant Scroll Wielder. Interesting. Creatures you control have... Uh, oh, instant and sorcery spells you control have lifelink. Okay. Oh, very nice. A Mythic Tainted Pact. Very cool card there. And a Foil Cram Session. Whoa, I thought that was like a ripped card for a second. <laughs> That's kind of cool. A Secret Lair promo. Pestilent Cauldron. I'm not really sure what the values are at this point, at least. Turns into a Restorative Burst. And then we have a Claim the Firstborn. I remember playing with this card in some decks that I used to play with. Oh, very nice. A Foil, one of the land cycles. I'm not sure how, how good these land cycles are going to end up being, but um, always nice to get a uh, one of the Foil lands. And I did actually just get a new cat as well in my uh, in my real life here, so maybe uh, maybe he can make an appearance. If you've been watching some of my videos for a while here, you'll see my roommate's cat uh, made some appearances in previous videos. Tempted by the Auric. That's pretty good, actually. In Commander, you can gain control of like three creatures for four mana. And a Whirlwind Denial. With a Pest. All right, a couple more packs here, then we'll get into that collector's pack, which I'm very excited to get into. We will uh, also have a collector's box that will be opening on the channel, 
be opening up one of those for y'all so we can see what that all entails. Oh, very nice. The Kazmina. I like this card a lot, actually. Um, it's, it, it's, it, I, think, I think this Planeswalker is going to do well. It's a relatively cheap mana cost, only three mana, and has some pretty good abilities on it. And a Weather the Storm. Very nice. Any card with Storm on it is, uh, can do some crazy stuff, that's for sure. Here, we'll put the Mythic up there. We'll put, we'll put all the Mythics up there. Here, I'll just move these real quick and kind of see how many we get in this. Big Elf Druid and an Elemental Expressionist. Very cool with a Thrill of Possibility. All right, after this pack, we'll get into that collector's pack. Very nice. The uh, non foil version of the same land we got before and Infuriate. Alrighty, let's do it. Test our luck. Alright, here it is. Very cool artwork on these. I really like these packs. Kind of the blue and the brown. I'm actually not a huge fan of brown as a color, but I don't know. They, they did a good job with it in, uh, in Strixhaven. It, it, whatever the shade is and kind of the other colors in the palette there really, really make it look good. Alright, so we got our foil commons here. Our foil uncommons. A foil lesson card. First foil rare is going to be a vanishing verse. Geometric Nexus is our uh, commander extended art. Okay. Efreet Flame Painter. Very cool double strike card there. Ooh, our Japanese one with some little etching there. Very nice. I'm not sure which card this is. I want to say maybe claim the firstborn since it's a one drop red. I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments if you know. Compulsive Research is our foil etched. I've definitely seen this card and see some play, so very cool there. A Defiant Strike, as my cat tries to climb my leg, is our foil. Probably not the best one, but definitely a very playable card. I used to play this card a lot in my Feather the Redeemed deck back in Standard. And wow, we did get a, uh, a Mythic. Full art, not full art, extended art. Um, I mean, maybe not the best one, but hey, it's a foil mythic, so can't complain too much there. All right, so that was fun. Uh, I'm relatively happy with our pulls on that. And let's continue with the last three packs of the booster bundle, this is called. Man, the cat is going crazy. I don't know if you guys can hear that on the camera. So far, I'd say, you know, just, you know, from the amount of, just the fact that you get a mystical archive and what, why is there a rare in the middle of this pack? Uh, okay. That's interesting. Haven't seen that before. Are we going to get a second rare? Wow. Okay. So we got two rares there. Very nice. I actually like this card a lot. I think this is going to see some play. If I ever play a feather again in a, in a, Pioneer, I'm definitely going to be using that card. And a Faithless Looting, very iconic card. Flashback, cool artwork there, kinda, I don't know. I'm actually, I'm not really, I can't tell if I like it or hate it. It's, it's definitely different, that's for sure. Two more packs. No token on this one, okay. That's weird, some of these, I don't know. Something's going on here. Oh, maybe because like the lesson slot, you can get a rare there or something? Plarg, Dean of Chaos, okay, and an Agonizing Remorse. Oh, cool, that's one of these cards. I like these things a lot, actually. Alrighty, last pack. Thank you for watching, folks. Please do consider subscribing to the channel and leaving a like and a comment below. Definitely would mean a lot to me. I try to respond to all the comments if y'all ask me a question or something. Ending with a Strix Haven Stadium. And our last Mystical Archive is a Regrowth. Very nice. Alrighty, so overall, I mean, we got two Mythics from the uh, bundle here. A lot of cool Mystical Archives and uh, some sexy stuff from the uh, Collector's Pack as well. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed the video. 
and uh, I will link some other openings up in the eye and the upper right hand corner of your screen, so definitely check those out if you're interested. I'll see you on the next one, folks.